I'm gonna show you how to save all your photos and videos in the cloud and how to free up the internal storage on your phone all for absolutely free. What's up guys, Joe here. If you're new here, by the way, we talk about news reviews and how to's for your phone. So be sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss any new videos. Okay, so if you're like me, you probably take tons of pictures and videos with your family, friends, or just anything worth opening the camera app up for. And that adds up over time against the storage on your phone. And you say, Well, I have a 50 gig or more of iCloud storage, so I just have it automatically backed up to that every night when I head to bed and plug my phone in. And I can say, I've never paid for iCloud storage. I've only stuck with the five gig that is given for free for years. And I have tons of photos and videos in the cloud from eight plus years ago. So let's jump in on my phone real quick and I can show you all exactly how to do this. And you could save that extra money you're spending for iCloud storage on some other things. All right, so here we are in my photo albums. And what I'm gonna do real quick is you can, there, there's a couple different ways you can actually start a shared album. And you can do that by hitting the plus, and then you'll see a sub menu here where it says new album, new folder, new shared album. You could start a new shared album, and we'll just call it test. Once you enter what you wanna name the album, you hit next. Now you can send this to people if you choose to share. And in this case, we're not gonna do that. So we're just gonna hit create. And we're gonna go into this folder and we're gonna hit the plus sign. And let's just say, we'll throw this thumbnail in here. We got a video of my puppy sleeping and here's a, a little photo I took of me from an old thumbnail. So we'll hit done. And then we're gonna hit, we, we make sure it's on the shared album at the bottom here. And then we're gonna post. And there's the three videos. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how this actually works. So we need, we got these three photos. We're gonna go back in to my camera roll and we're gonna find these. We're gonna select, we'll delete these from my album. And then there we go, they're in the trash. And then we'll go back into albums. We'll see test and there they are. We'll even go as far as heading into the library or into albums. We'll go as far as heading into the albums and we'll scroll down and we will do the recently deleted. We'll select them all and we'll delete them totally out of my phone. They're not even there anymore. And then we'll go back in the albums. We'll scroll up here and we'll go to shared albums, test. And there they are. They're still there. By the way, you still do need internet access in order to get to these, but they will be in there as long as you have internet access. I could show you shared album, see all. We'll scroll all the way down. Like I said, I have tons. I mean, here's stuff from 2012, 2012, when my daughter was, was little, I mean, 2013. So you're talking eight years ago plus eight, nine years ago. So this does work. And as I said, and, here, and here's some photos. So just to show you that there is stuff in there. Let's backtrack and say I wanted to add people to this album, even though I started it without. You just click the little person at the top here next to the select button, and then you can go in, and they'll give you some options where subscribers can actually contribute to it. So say you got family, friends, that's what my family does. We have an album that we keep all year, so we have a 2021 album in there, and I can do it, my fiance can do it anybody can basically add stuff and then you have notifications on this will just show when people like or they add stuff they comment but you can go in and you can invite people anytime you want all you gotta have is their phone number or email their iCloud email actually through your contacts and then it'll send an invite to them they accept it and then they could start checking out the stuff depending on the options that you have there you go there's how you use shared folders free up internal storage on your iPhone and you won't need to pay for iCloud anymore. So do you plan to keep paying for storage every month or will you start using shared albums? Let me know in the comments below real quick. And also check out some more videos in this playlist and hit that subscribe button. As always, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.